Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. And thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. If this resonates with you, please hit that like button. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe. I'm just lighting my incense here. Um, if you're new, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell so that you can be notified of new readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just a little quick check-in for the end of June 2021. Um, again, if you're new here, if you are interested in a personal reading, there is a link uh, below in the description box to my Etsy page. I also do make um, handmade prayer candles um, that are healing candles for your chakras. So you can check that out on my Etsy as well. And be sure you check me out on Instagram. I do post live collective readings uh, every week. And so all that information is below. Let's go ahead and get started. And let's see what's coming in for you guys these last few weeks of June. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their current life situation and love connection for the end of June 2021. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what soul lessons, soul cycles, Leo may currently be going through, about to go through, you need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua name I pray, amen. Okay, let's see what we have. Holy Spirit, what is the current romantic energy for Leo and what's coming in? Current and romantic energy coming in for Leo. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck unrequited love <sighs> interesting because i'm not getting the feeling the energy that there isn't enough attraction but i feel like there's something in the way that's uh preventing this connection from moving forward right now i do feel like you guys have a very strong connection is what spirit is showing me a lot of attraction for this person but there's something happening right now that is unable to allow it to flourish the way that you want the first card out is getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay so again what's in the way may be that you guys need to connect on a deeper level and spirit seems to be providing an opportunity for that to happen so you guys will be having conversations you guys will be um, getting vulnerable with each other, learning more about one another. And as you do that, your bond is going to strengthen. Retreat. So it is time to disconnect from the world. So anything on the outside that's been going on, you know, any people on the outside, any issues happening in the outside world, it's just time to disconnect from that, Spirit is saying. It is safe for you to love and worth waiting for. So again, this is a situation that seems to be moving very slow but there is a higher purpose for that leo and you just have to stay in that knowing that this is a connection that is safe for you but that it's happening in a slow manner because it's going to grow into something very strong okay <coughs> forgive me so let's see what we have in regards to this connection here what else holy spirit bottom of the deck is you strength so this is about you uh these last few weeks really tapping into your strength really tapping into who you are you may be going through some major metamorphosis here okay massive transformation and changes um really having to show up right not only for yourself but for others this is a test of your faith this is a test uh, for you to show who you truly are 
Okay, does that make sense to you? Current situation is the Page of Swords. Neither one of you are making a move right now. I feel like you're observing the situation as a whole, Leo. I do feel like the other person is observing the situation right now as well. Some of you may actually be spending time with this person, but I don't see any romantic action taking place. Because this is the Page of Swords, there was some new information that's been brought to light. <coughs> some type of conversation, revelation, okay, news of some sort has been um, brought forward here. You are coming through as yourself, the Queen of Wands, okay? So, of course, this can be for Leo, Sag, or Aries, but I do strongly feel this is representing Leo. So, you're coming through as the Queen of Wands right now. You are in your element. It's time for you to shine. You're very, very loyal. You're very, very protective of those around you. And whatever this news is, or whatever this was that you were observing, it's got your brain ticking, you're seeing things differently right now, Leo. Something has happened that's causing your perception to change, to heighten, so to speak, to deepen. You're very, very connected. You're very, very focused on what needs to be done. I feel that you're manifesting and creating something bigger and new for yourself. The other person's energy is coming through as the two of wands. They have come to a crossroads. Um, within their life and they have some pretty major decisions that they need to make and I'm not necessarily getting that this decision has to do with you or the relationship these are life issues life decisions that need to be made um, it could have to do with healing something here with this green ribbon which for me is connected to the heart chakra right because green this is a decision that is very tightly wound around their heart. I do feel like this is not in the sense of uh, intimate connection. Again, I feel like these are life decisions that this person is being faced with and they've come to a crossroads in their life and they're needing to decide which way do they go. How is this going to pan out? <coughs> the challenge between you and this person, Leo, has been the Four of Cups. Indecision. Nobody's making a move allowing past experiences to cloud the judgment of how to handle this situation, maybe other people's opinions, allowing them to fill this cup um, when really it should just be coming from you and or them. It caused a lot of hesitation, a lot of indecision, a lot of in inability to move forward, okay? What's coming next in this connection is the Nine of Wands. There's a little bit of anxiety here, but a whole lot of love. Okay, you see that pink ribbon? So this is the Nine of Wands here. There's, um, you know, you've been through a lot. I feel both of you have, but there's this deep loyalty that I'm seeing taking place here, especially... Um, with this particular nine of wands where it's like, yes, things are difficult. Yes, things are stressful. Um, I do feel like you guys are going to be thrown into some pretty stressful situations here. Uh, with the nine of wands, there's going to be moments where somebody really feels, you know, like a wounded warrior um, who's, who's really battling something. But there's this energy with this wand right here going across of loyalty to me and i'm seeing somebody really stick by your side through these difficult times or you sticking by their side through these difficult times and through that process you have the outcome which is the ace of pentacles <coughs> which to me speaks of a strengthening bond there is this promise this new beginning very very abundant very very prosperous okay um something that will be able to stand the test of time and that's what all of these situations are leading up to this is a test of faith this is a test of your strength 
This is a test of you showing up when it's important and creating that um, promised land that you've been dreaming of, either with this person or just in general. Because this Ace of Pentacles is really showing me the blessings and the abundance that is yours. It's on its way to you. Should you show up for these difficult situations in the way that is necessary? All right, Leo, I hope you guys are doing well. This was your quick check-in for the end of June. I look forward to seeing you guys at the beginning of July. And I can't wait to hear from you on Instagram. Bye.